Hello guys, welcome to Aviator Guide. Today we are going to study a topic in general navigation and the topic is Chilat and Chilong. So what is Chilat and what is Chilong? Basically we have already discussed about latitudes and longitudes. So the difference or change in latitude from one latitude or one point to another is called Chilat or Dlat and change in longitude from one longitude to another longitude is called Chilong or D-Long. So, first of all, let's talk about Chilat or change in latitude. So, if you have to find the Chilat between two different points anywhere on earth, we have to assume or imagine earth in the form of a sphere. So, this should be a sphere. So, you have to assume earth in the form of a sphere on earth like uh, you have to assume like an orange or an apple in the form of a ball you don't have to assume a flat earth or you don't have to assume earth in the form of a circle if you assume it in the form of a sphere it will be easier so if you have to find the chillat between let's say two points one is 90 north that is the north pole and the equator which is zero north south so, if you have to find the chillat between here, 0 north south and 90 north, you will simply say that it is 90 degrees north. So, second example, find the chillat between the equator and 30 north. So, it is very simple. Between the equator and 30 north, the chillat will be 30 north. So, if we have to find the chillat between 30 north to 90 north, it will be 90 minus 30, that will be 60 degrees north. So, if we have to find the chillat between, let's say, 30 north to 30 south, now we have to see from 30 to equator, it is about 30 degrees. And from equator to 25 south is about 25 degrees. So we add 30 degrees plus 25 degrees. That gives us 55 degrees south. So the chillat from point 30 north to 25 south would be 55 degrees south. So if we have to find the chillat between 80 degrees south and 90 degrees south, that will be 90 minus 80, that will be 10 degrees to the south. If we have to find from 80 south to 90 south, it will be 10 degrees south. If we have to find the chillat between 90 south to 25 south, what we will do is we will write 90 minus 25, so that gives us 65 degree north so that means if we go from here to here we have traveled north so the chillat is 65 degrees north now let's find the chillat between 45 south and 75 north so from to travel from 45 degrees south to 75 degree north that will be about 45 plus 75 that will be 120 degree north so now we will find the chillat between 80 degree south and 45 degree south so between 80 degree south and 45 degree south we will write it as 80 minus 45 that makes it 35 so it will be 35 degrees north because we are going in another direction from 80 degrees south to 45 south. If we have to find the chillat between 45 south and 80 degrees south, if we have to go from 45 south to 80 south, so it will become 35 degrees south. So in this way, we can find chillat between any two points, but we have to assume that we even don't need to write all this. If suppose someone asks us to find the chillat between 45 north and 45 south, so we can assume it like this. 
and if you have to go from 45 north to 45 south definitely the direction is south so the chillat will be 45 plus 45 and that will be 90 south so we have to basically travel 90 degrees in the direction of south so that is about the chillat guys now we will be learning about the chillong or the change in the longitude so if you have, have a question which says find the change in longitude between 170 degrees west and 170 degrees east so what will you do so first of all you will imagine earth in form of a sphere and you will be looking it at from the top sphere or a circle as you please so you will be looking it at from the top so you will be seeing north pole in the center the prime meridian will be on the bottom of the chart i'll write the prime meridian as zero degrees east west the east 90 degrees east longitude will be on the right 90 degrees west longitude will be on the left and the anti meridian of the prime meridian that is 180 degrees east west will be on the top so that is how you will imagine the earth so coming to the this question first we will take some basic examples if you want to find the chillong between 0 degrees or the prime meridian to 90 degree east you are traveling in a general direction of east so it will be 90 east if you are finding the chillong between prime meridian and 90 degrees west the general direction of travel is west so it will be 90 degrees west if suppose you are finding the chillong between 90 degree west and the anti meridian the difference is 90 degrees and you are traveling towards west because from here the direction is west if you want to find the chillong between 90 degree east to the prime meridian now you are traveling in a westerly direction so the chillong will be 90 degree west if you want to find the chillong between a point here let's say uh, about uh, let's assume it to be 120 degrees east to the anti meridian so it will be this total is about 90 degrees and from 90 to 120 is about 30 degrees so you don't want the 30 degrees out of from here to here so that will be approximately uh, we can find it in two ways first way would be to subtract 180 degrees minus 120 that gives you 60 degrees and the direction from here to here as we know will be further to the east so it will be 60 degrees east or you can find it in the other way like from here to here is 90 degree as we know from 90 east meridian to the anti meridian and now we have to find between here to here so we don't read this part so between 90 and 120 is 30 so if we subtract 30 degrees so it becomes 60 degrees that is the this leftover part so the direction is east so it becomes 60 east now coming to the question that we originally had 170 west to 170 east so 170 west will come in the western hemisphere the western hemisphere is anything that is towards the west of the prime meridian and the eastern hemisphere is anything which is to the east of the prime meridian so 170 west will be over here and 170 east will be over here if you want to find the chillong between 170 west to 170 east you will travel the shorter way you will not travel the entire earth in the opposite way so the general direction if you travel from 170 west towards the anti meridian it is west so from here to here is 10 degrees from here to here is 10 degrees so total is 20 degrees of travel and the general direction starting from 170 west is west so this will be 20 west will be the chillong for this question now the trick is when you are traveling near the prime meridian it becomes very easy to say which is east and which is west but if you are traveling near the anti meridian so if you travel from here let's say you are traveling now want to find the chillong between 170 east to 170 west so now you are going to find from here till here 
but generally this direction will become as you are going to travel towards a more easterly direction from here towards the anti meridian so it will become the answer will be for this question from 170 east to 170 west will become 20 east i'll give one more example if you want to find the chillong between 100 degree west and 100 degree east how do you do that there are simple ways let's assume this entire earth is a circle a circle has 360 degrees and we want from here to here we don't want this entire part so this part from here to here is about 100 degrees from prime meridian to 100 east is about 100 degrees so we subtract from 360 degrees that is 100 plus 100 that becomes 360 minus 200 that becomes 160 degrees so this 160 now if we want to find the chillong between 100 west and 100 east so initial direction of travel from 100 west to the anti meridian is west so this will become 160 west that will be the chillong if we want to find the chillong between 100 degrees east to 100 degrees west that is a shorter arc the change in longitude is the same it will be 160 but as now we are traveling from 100 east towards the anti meridian which is a more easterly direction so this will become 160 degrees east so that is guys about chillong let's give one more example if we want to find the chillong let's say between 80 west and let's say 45 west so the change in degrees from 80 Minus forty five is thirty five. So now we are traveling from eighty west to forty five west. We are in the western hemisphere, but we are traveling towards the east direction. So this will be thirty five degrees east. Similarly, if we want to find the chillong between eighty degrees east and sixty degrees east, we are traveling from eighty east to sixty east. That is towards a westerly direction. so it is 80 minus 60 that is equal to 20 degrees west so now with all these examples finding chillong will be easy for you guys thank you for watching evator guide